wondering what this video is about, well, I just picked up a WRT 1200AC, which is a uh, it's Linksys latest router. And what's neat about this is that it actually runs DDWRT very easily. You just have to kind of install the image and bingo bang, you're up and running. And I've been running DDWRT for about six or seven years. And for those of you that don't know what DDWRT is, it's an open source router uh, software. And what it allows you to do is to do a bunch of powerful things like open up specific ports on your network, um, do VPN, um, do anonymous browsing. There's a ton, a ton of features um, that basically you can customize for your needs. So I thought it would be great, since I just got this new device, to show you how easy it is to install DDWRT for yourself. So uh, let's start. Let's dig in. So open your browser and go to dd-wrt.com. Then uh, click on the router database. Then type in WRT 1200 AC. Then you want to scroll down and click on the factory to ddwrt.image. It's going to take about you know five or six minutes to download. I just saved it to the desktop. So then you want to go to 192.168.1 in your browser and that will load up the default um, web page of the Linksys. And then click on connectivity. And that's going to open up this panel and then hit load file and you're going to select the image that you just downloaded. This is the one that I have on my desktop. And then hit start. And then hit yes. And yes again. That's it. So pretty much uh, once this thing basically downloads onto the uh, router, it's going to reboot itself. And then because it's switching out from a Linksys firmware to the DDWRT, what you're going to want to do is actually type in uh, 192.168.1.1 and it's going to ask you for a password and a username. Enter those in and hit apply and you should be inside DDWRT and you'll notice that now you've got you know the Linksys WRT 1200 and it's running the firmware. And now you can just go through here and customize it um, how you want. So that's it. It's pretty simple to do. Um, doesn't take that long and you'll be running a awesome router software.